They gave them a grand send off. The Amer those who died in the American Revolution. In China, wherever you find these warriors, they conquer so their families can live a certain way. They didn't get this for free. You live the way you live, black man, American black man. You live the way that you live on the backs of white men who died for this country. Because you ain't did a damn thing. You did help a little bit. And you should have asked for something. Your dumb ass didn't ask for nothing. Black men was in the revolution, Revolutionary War. You was in Korea. You was in Vietnam. You was in all these damn American wars and didn't ask for nothing. You are now in Afghanistan. We black American black men around the world get willing to give your life for this country and you don't ask for a damn thing. Y'all a bunch of punks and sissies. You're willing to die for another man, but you won't die for your woman, your children, and for yourself. But something wrong with Angel Snuff Nuff Seven. And then these crazy ass Pan Africans and Hebrew Israelites and black Muslims and whatever the hell you want to call you, black first and whatever the hell, just because you talk a good game, you think somebody's supposed to be impressed by you. You and all your children. How dare none of them can make mockery of Operation Exodus Mississippi. None of them can make mockery of the Mississippi campaign. You accomplish nothing because you're not no warrior. Only a man can accomplish the Mississippi campaign. Real men, not no pussy mongers. If you implement it and can accomplish Operation Exodus Mississippi campaign, it will prove that you are a man once and for all. It would give you great reward. But you're not a man. So the only thing that makes these men feel like men, because I got me some pussy. And then you go brag to, the, to these other men. Woo! Man, I'm tired. That gal show gave me some pussy. I, I laid that pipe on her last night. You laid the pipe, but you don't know how to make the pipe that go in your house for the plumbing so water and gas can come in your house. The only thing you got is a damn ragged ass dick that you need some Viagra for or that other crap for. That should be the least of your problems. If you want a woman, if you want a children, then you need to provide for them. They need food, clothing, and shelter. You need to protect them from their enemies. You have failed. You're not a warrior. You're not a god. You have been mislabeled. I do give credit where credit is due. And I would never and I would never take away something from somebody credit that they did earn. I come from the place of the nation of Islam. I come from the nation of Islam, Elijah Muhammad and Louis Farrakhan. Louis Farrakhan has done certain things. Matter of fact, I would tell you, I give the man credit. If it was not for Louis Farrakhan, chances are me talking to you right now, it, it probably wouldn't have happened. I have to give credit where credit is due. I have no problem with that. And certainly I would not be talking to you if it was not for Elijah Muhammad's teachings. I wouldn't be talking to us right now. I am a child. I am a consequence of nation of islam they might not like that you don't, you don't sound like no nation of islam 
because I am what you're supposed to be. You're not no damn Arab. You don't need that damn religion no more. That was just a stepping stone so that you can come into your own. That's what it was. You're not supposed to be deal with those damn people. You're not an Arab. You're not a Moor. You're not some funky ass Israelite. You use these things. We use these things in our infancy when we was immature. We use them as a stepping stone as we grow up. First grade, second grade, third grade. Now we in college. That's what those things were. Those are kindergarten. That's why you can't mess with Angel Snub Number Seven. Because we are in college here. You still in the third grade. Matter of fact, you happy to talk about your teacher or he only had a third grade education and Louis Farrakhan was a college dropout. What the hell you expect from them? But I think they could have done a lot better if they wasn't whoremongers. Elijah Muhammad, old as he was, still had to get more pussy because it was available. And that's what caused the whole Malcolm X scandal. Because Elijah Muhammad had to get him some pussy outside of his wife. Because the women that he get pregnant going to produce these special babies. And we still don't know what these special babies have done in 2022. And so Mr. Farrakhan had to do the same thing. They just got to get, they got to have pussy. If your mom, let me tell you something about the pussy thing. It messes with men's minds. It's a it's a distraction when your mind is on pussy, because that's a natural that's a natural desire. Ain't that right, Terry? That's a natural desire. It's a natural desire. But in order, but in order for a man to think properly, you got to get out of these women's panties. It distorts your thinking. You don't think properly. The only thing on your that's going on in your mind is, is, is her curves, her pretty face, her, her breasts and her legs. And whoo, that's gonna feel so good. It's a distraction from what you need to do. So in these warrior cultures, you don't see them. You don't see women around them like that. These were killers. These was conquerors. What about these men that got on boats, didn't know where the hell they was going? It had to be a special man in order to get on a boat and you don't see no land, I'm gonna get on this boat and just go out here on the water and you don't know where the hell you're gonna end up. Special people. You have to have a, a mentality. I think Malcolm X would have did better had he stayed where he was. I think he would have handled the nation of Islam crap much differently, but since he had a wife, and his children, he didn't want them to get hurt. So he decided to sacrifice himself and just put an end to it all before Sister Betty and his children got hurt. See, as a warrior, as a conqueror, you, can, you, you, you can't think that way. Here you are in the house of your enemy and y'all having families. And you take your family, we having family reunions and our, you want to show up. The only reason why you feel like a man is because you got you some pussy and now you got a daughter and you got two daughters and three sons. And the only reason why you feel like a man because you fuck somebody. You don't have nothing else.
You don't control nothing. You make no laws. You control no resources. No other man fear you. There's nobody on, in this country. Here come those black men. They're not scared of you. They're not worried about you physically. And they're not worried about you economically. You're just a feral slave taking up room in America. Is that Angel Snuff number seven fault? No. It's a disservice for me to be silent and play this kiss your little knee game and tell you about that you something that I know that you're not. You're not a god. You're not a warrior until you prove it. It has yet to be proven. The American black man, we've been here in this country going on 500 years. A few of us have stood up and fought the enemy or whatever, but the majority of us, and mind you, we are the children of those who didn't fight, who didn't rebel. This is what you have to understand. So I'm not shocked. We are the children, we are the progeny of people, of, of people who submitted to the enemy. Hey, what's up there, Razzy? Razzy says our fight is gone. Uh, Razzy, I will, I will have the nerve to say that we never had no fight to begin with. As a people, a few, but as a people, we never had no fight. But then at the same time, I understand the only thing we ever know was slavery. So I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I understand what happened to us. The only thing we ever know was slavery. If, if you was a warrior, like you claim, if you was a god like you claim, why are you, why aren't you showing it? That's the question. A crocodile is a warrior, a lion is a warrior, and no matter where you go, and you mess with a crocodile or a lion, they're going to show you I ain't nothing to play with. Even the, even the lions in the zoo have a little fight. You don't have no fight at all. The only thing you want to do is fuck. And you want to die in peace with your, with your loving family, all your grandkids and great grandkids. That's, that's y'all life. And you produce nothing. Just an old ass slave that's dying. Thank you.